rest of the season would help do so home today at Maryland at Minnesota and home for Michigan State to finish it out. We're underway from Assembly Hall. James Breeding, Doug Sermons, Kevin Brill, our officials. Wisconsin controls it and will use this experienced starting unit to try to get in front early. Coming off the win over Maryland a week ago, a full week off after the 74-70 victory. Crowell on the outside. And I'm really curious to see if Indiana can guard their man a little bit better. There's Chucky Hepburn coming off that handoff wide open. But they got blitzed off the bounds. Ace ball when lived in the painted area. Indiana has to be better defensively here tonight. It feels like defense is going to be a huge benchmark for both these teams as Renew couldn't control initially. Gets it back, sees it. Paco cutting to the rim for the first bucket. It's one of those 50-50 plays right there where you've got a Wisconsin Badger diving on the floor. Indiana comes away with it. Good awareness right there by Malik Renew to hit Mbaka with the rim. Indiana second to last in the Big Ten in both scoring and scoring defense as Wall tried to force it in, couldn't do so. Meanwhile, Wisconsin this year 14-0 when they hold their opponents to 70 or fewer. Renew is trailing. Instead, it's Ware inside. Good position on Crowell and the bucket. Well, he did his work early there. Pushed Stephen Crowell right up that lane line. Lee Renew even looks a little bit woozy. He got drilled in the face, was late coming down, but nice post up from Khalil Ware. Looked like he might have been holding his throat, Renew, on the way back down the floor. Crowell post up opportunity, spins baseline, gets to the rim and explodes. Well, if you're going to go up on Khalil Ware, you better go to dunk it. That's exactly what Stephen Crowell does there. Ware really leaning in to get some leverage, and Crowell flips it on him, spins baseline. And that one's going to be kicked out of bounds by Hepburn. It's Stephen Crowell with a nice quick spin. Well, Indiana plays these two big men, Renew and Ware, really the bulk of their scoring, although Mbako has been aggressive. Free throws have been a struggle for IU. Mbako is their best shooter. And this sense. is one of those matchups for Indiana where you look at Ware and, and you look at Renew, and, and it's it's okay. I, I thought Renew, even though he scored at Penn State, he really struggled to guard Zach Hicks. But Hicks is, is running off screens. He's flying around, and it was tough for Renew to contain him. Klesman keeps, leaves it, and a reset with Hepburn, half the shot clock gone. Wisconsin won the first matchup, 91-79, January 19th. It was Klesman who was the star for the Badgers with 26. Hepburn now with six to shoot, working on Renew. He's going to have to make it happen himself with a shimmy shake. Hepburn, leave it. Klesman had a strip, but a foul. So a fresh 20. Crowell on the post up. Back down. Taking his time. The patience couldn't bank it home. Good defense by Ware. And Galloway will take it the other way. Well, you don't see Crowell go to that running hook often. That's the shot blocking ability of Khalil Ware affecting the shot. Ware comes down and puts it in. What a start for IU. Ware was in some foul trouble against Penn State. Still finished with 16 and 8. Klesman can't respond. They're going to have to know where Max Klesman is. He burned the Hoosiers for 20 straight in that game back in January. Galloway can't hit. And the rebound vacuumed in by Tyler Wall. Wall 18 and 6 in the win over Maryland. Great guards, and he wasn't concerned about the week off. They took one day off, then had two practices, another day off, two more practices. Hepburn, the seas parted, and he takes full advantage. I mean, that, that's like the most, you could have driven a truck down the lane right there. <laughs> well, what you kind of truck that's talking? Often, but that's like the Ace Baldwin drives right down the middle of the lane. I'm talking the F-150, the F-450. <laughs> Good horsepower. That's what Hepburn brings. Ware inside for two more. Boy, that, that's just really poor there from A.J. Store. He's got to chuck Khalil Ware, and he tried to, but really never inhibited him on that roll. In for Crowell. Double was the, oh, he splits it inside, and Ware gets back. What a recovery for the rejection. Renew nearly double dribbled. Mbaka recovers, and they'll reload with Ware. Looking inside for his fellow big man. Renew with good position. Double team, rips through, kick out, cup, swing it, and Baco, no. That's a good look for Indiana, but you can just feel the tension on some of these three-point shots. The Hoosiers 0 for 2 early. Last four games shooting just 22% from three. And in their last two, a combined six for 36 from three. Nice pass, Hepburn finds Wall. That's another dribble drive, and nice play there by Chucky Hepburn of playing off two feet. He felt Malik Renew coming into that play, and then just diamond up Tyler Wall. 
Galloway off the renew screen, lob it inside. Where great catch, bumped, and and it's going to be a push. And it's just deflating when, when you get open looks and you earn trips to the foul line, you don't make them. And you know, this team's defense has not been great either. That, that's a really tough recipe to win games in one of the better basketball conferences of, of all of America. That was the first miss inside of three for IU so far tonight. They hold the four-point lead. Hepburn bounce it, knocked away by Ware. Recovered by Store. 16 to shoot. Khalil Ware has been active here early. He's been locked in and engaged. Wall, leave it. Oh, great cut and finish for John Blackwell. He just has such a great feel for the game. Great guard has mentioned how much that stood out. His basketball IQ as a freshman. Well, and going back to the game on January 19th, John Blackwell got three or four buckets just like that. Indiana's got to be aware. He is a terrific cutter. Renew in a crowd. Kick it. Cups thought about it. Drive, dish, swing, renew, open for three. That's a big shot for Malik Renew. Well, he has scored in the last two. 0 for 8 from three the last six games. And it's a wide open one. Good ball movement from Indiana. And finally Malik Renew sees one go through the net from downtown. Nolan Winter hands it off for Hepburn. So crowd getting some early rest. Store off the screen. Quiet so far. Winter will fire. No. Winter can make those there. Indiana's been switching a lot of a lot of these screening actions here. Galloway the spin and a reload for Mbako. Averaging 11 and a half points per game, but 15 in his last 11. Ware just forces himself inside. Add two more on the board. He just bullied his way to the rim there. Great move from Khalil Ware. Store. Oh! Ware is everywhere! Here's the dribble drive on Nolan Winter. A little Euro step goes right through him. A tough physical play and something that I'm sure Mike Woodson happy to see. Connor Asijan missed on the layup. Meanwhile, Xavier Johnson missed the last six games with an elbow injury, is now in there for the first time tonight. And a nice ovation from the crowd. Galloway just got rid of it, hit the deck. Mike Woodson felt like he took some unnecessary hits at Penn State a couple days ago. Johnson thought he was fouled. He lost the ball. Turnover. Wall the other way. Leave it. Asijan. Great shooter, but he doesn't take that one. Wall aggressive. Spins. Can't score. Crowell back in there, tap it, Johnson picks it up. Up ahead, Galloway ahead of the pack for the deuce. Indiana's energy here tonight has been really good. They are competing out here on both ends. Staying in that last play, securing the defensive rebound and getting out in the open floor. It is a nine point Hoosier lead. And there's energy back at Assembly Hall. Klesman. Working on the sixth-year senior Johnson. Blackwell fires. Book it. A three. Boy, Wisconsin really missed him. You know, he missed those two games, was banged up with a hip injury. And getting him back in the lineup, we've seen him as a cutter, shooting 46% from three on the season. He's just a really good player, especially when you look at just his freshman year. He's been one of the better freshmen in the conference, along with Mbako. Nearly stole that one, and it will be. Top 20 in a lot of NBA mock drafts. He's always had talent. The questions were about his motor, and I think he has done a much better job this year of consistently playing hard. Anthony Walker on the floor for Indiana. Meanwhile, Marcus Ilver starting to get more run for Wisconsin, number 35 in red, out there early now in the first half of this first half. Klesman driving kick. There is Ilver for three. In and out. That's what he's out there to do. We, we had seen Carter Gilmore getting those minutes at the backup four. But Ilver shooting 35% from three. He's been better rebounding the basketball and defensively in practice. And great guard has rewarded him with some playing time. Galloway, no hesitation. Three point blows continue. Indiana just one for four to start this game. You'd think if you're Wisconsin, you are trying to shrink the floor on that end. Ball goes into the post. You're showing bodies, dribble drives. Have to stop the ball. You've got to make Indiana prove that they can make some of these jumpers. Around the horn, Klesman, a three. He can make them. There's Klesman bouncing back against Maryland with 16 points. The three prior, just 5 of 27 from the field. But Indiana understands how hot he can get at 26 in the first meeting. Galloway attacks, leaves, where? In a crowd. Got it! And 
and one. But it's Ilver. They just confused the numbers 22-35. So Ilver will pick up his first. Ware converts and gets it back to a six-point game. Hepburn back out there with Ilver, Crowell, Blackwell, and Klesman. Klesman just always oozing with confidence on the floor. Steps back for another tray. No, not that time. Too strong. And Ware pulls in his fourth rebound. Galloway will run the show. Leading the team, 4.3 assists per game. What a perfect pass. Leal hits the three. Butter. And you can't get turned down on that ball screen. Have to send the ball handler to the middle of the floor. Great pass from Galloway. And that's a big one for this team's psyche and Anthony Leal, who was 0 for 5 from 3 over his last four games. Galloway is not 100% today, playing through some pain, but he has gutted it out so far, looking pretty good out there with some impressive playmaking around the horn. Ilver can't respond. And there is Galloway right in the thick of it. Indiana's defense has flown around. They've got to do this for 40 minutes, but so far, a pretty impressive response here by the Hoosiers. Johnson, leave it. Walker, the spin cycle, he missed it. Wow, wow. Great move, everything but the bucket there. That's where Anthony Walks can be at his best. It's a slasher, it's a driver. Blackwell for three. Off the heel, nearly got the roll. And Ilver secures the offensive rebound. Second chance now, here's Crowell with a touch. They'll really shade that post. Ilver was left alone. Klesmit will take the drive. And had it knocked out of bounds off his leg, it'll go to IU. Was still bothering him today at shoot around, and, and he's been out here giving it his all. He'll take his first seed of the day, just past the nine minute mark of this first half, with his team holding on to a nine point cushion. And Baco looking inside, he airmailed it. Turnover. Wall will bring it across. You turn it over, throwing it to Khalil Ware. That, that, that's not just a bad pass, it's a horrible <laughs> pass. He's, he is massive with a huge wingspan. Store couldn't find any daylight working against Mbako. Now it's Wall inside, just forcing himself to his spot to the free throw line. Leading the team in field goal percentage, shooting it at 68% from the charity strike. Wisconsin has Store, Wall, Klesman, Hepburn, and Winter. Indiana with Johnson, Ware, Leal, Walker, and Mbako. As we approach eight minutes to play in this first half. Indiana shooting a staggering 64% from the floor. Johnson, pull up, pop, money. That was a confident look right there from Xavier Johnson. That drop coverage is what Wisconsin's playing. Come off the ball screen and just raise up from 15. Largest lead of the day for Indiana. Looks like Hepburn got away with a carry there. After shot clock on, Wall will reset. Working against Ware. Store on the attack. Store had to rip through and he missed it. Rebound Ware up ahead for Leal. Running with Walker. Kick it for Johnson. On the attack and he's bumped. Affected shots at the rim. He's been effective driving it. He's rolled. He's just done a little bit of everything and now trying to work out on Stephen Crowell in the post. That's and he's just play. too strong in the paint right now. 13 for Ware. Well, he went right at Crowell, got to his body and still was able to finish through the contact. And more importantly, he has gone without a single personal foul so far in the first 13 minutes of this game. Crowell looking to back him down. Going right at Ware, up and under for two. Nice move there by Stephen Crowell. He's got a variety of things he can go to, and here Khalil Ware trying to challenge with that up and under. Good footwork by Crowell to kind of find a lane to score it. Ware <laughs> drills a three ball. There has never been a question about his ability, and it is fully on display here tonight. He is seven for seven with 16 points in this game. Store. That's another shot that he alters there. Doing it on both ends. Cups running the show the other way. AJ Store has driven it twice now. He's over three, had two looks around the rim, and Khalil Ware's presence at all has altered them both. They're looking for Ware. Riding the hot hand. He check. He's scorching hot. And already now make it four in a row with 18 tonight on the perfect eight for eight. 
now how will Wisconsin who has had a week off since their last game against Maryland settle themselves to get themselves back into it. it feels like it's been impossible for the Badgers to score credit Indiana their, their defense has been stout They've flown around and, and contested shots. Someone's going to have to take it. It's going to be Hepper. Boy, good rotation by the Hoosiers. That, that kind of close it down, though. And the offensive rebound. Oh, Crowell couldn't handle it. Indiana slows it down. Leo giving good minutes off the bench. Leave it for Cubs. Klesman got his hand in there. Leo recovers. Back to where? Until he misses one. And he'll be there. That was the heat check. And that's a, but he's earned it. I mean, you're eight for eight. I'm, I'm with him shooting every time he's open. I, I'm glad you said that because I was starting to feel a little bad that we were talking so heavily about it and then he missed. <laughs> now you've, you've earned the right to keep pulling until you miss your first one. So Sparks, Galloway, Walker, and Baco and Cups. Here's Hepburn for Wisconsin. I have to think the Badgers going to look to go to the rim. Penn State did that when Ware was out of the game. And there's the dribble drive and you just don't have the same level of rim protection. What a great finish. That was John Blackwell. He just he he's a player. so many things on the floor. And he keeps getting better with each game. Galloway driving kick. Walker attacking Ilver. Had it stripped by who else but Blackwell. So versatile on both ends of the floor. Always a high impact. And Greg Gard was laughing at the plus minus from their last game because he was in the minus and he was as impactful and effective as anybody on the team. And Baco can't hit. Three sparks. Vacuums it in. We'll go to the free throw line. Because he, he does struggle here. To a 14 point lead. And does. <laughs> Who would have thought IU would hold a 14 point advantage in the first half here? Try to put an end to a four game losing streak. Wisconsin has been dreadful on the road. They've lost their last four Big Ten road games. Nice pump fake and Crowell just floats it in. Well, he just kind of took his time. The defense cleared and with sparks flying by, Crowell once again getting to the rim. And you have to think with Khalil Ware out, that, that is there. Galloway from the corner. In and out. Goes back to what Mike Woodson told his team. If you're open from three, let it fly. Trying to instill that confidence once again. And Ware is going to check in next dead ball. And for Galloway, it's just one of his last 14. And those are good looks. It's halfway down. He's got to feel like there's a lid on that thing right now. Crowell gives it up. Klesman with eight to shoot. Right back to Crowell inside against Sparks. They like the matchup. Sparks so strong. Crowell so crafty. Oh, wow. He took that contact from Sparks and just spun right off him. Aiden Sparks incredibly physical, but that's a nice post move from Stephen Crowell. He has that ability to go right or left jump hook. Indiana, by the way, four or five at the free throw line is Johnson. Oh, knocks down the three. This is a guy that has not played the last six games. It has come in, picked his spots, made a jumper, and, and now knocks down the triple. Hepper going right back at him, finds some daylight, and he draws the contact, puts it through. For three to start this game for the leading scorer, 16.3 a game. You also look at Tyler Wall on the bench with two fouls. He's got three points only on three shots. He's been so consistent for this team. But the bottom line is Wisconsin's defense has got to be better. I mean, they have just not been able to contain this Indiana offense here tonight. And Baco on his fellow freshman Blackwell, and Blackwell wins the battle. Nice job by John Blackwell, just moving his feet, taking that contact on, and getting a stop. Store has it at the top, 20 to shoot. Pepper, shimmy shake, baseline attack, kick it, Klesmith, three ball, pure. And really wise play there by Chucky Hepburn, feeling that Ware's back in the game. I've drawn defenders, I've got Max Klesmith on that left wing. He sprays it, and Klesmith's locked and loaded. Baco off the Ware screen. Two minutes to play in this first half. Indiana looking as strong as they have in weeks. And Johnson turns it over. Pepper lob it over the defense. Store just lies it in. Man, 
You just hold he your gonna, breath. He's going to crack that 100%. one right there. I mean, his head's at the rim. That's a big-time pass. Yeah. <laughs> There's no style points, I guess. It's true. You sound so deflated. Well, I just got so excited. Yeah, well, it's rightfully so. He's one of the best dunkers <laughs> in the league. And Baco leave it. Johnson thought about it. Right back to the freshman. Eight to shoot. Had it stripped. Blackwell got a hand on it. And then a foul. Wisconsin's been so much more active here, Noah. Hepburn's going to pick it up. His first. Was, this was something that Greg Gard was really preaching to his team this morning was go and feel the ball. Yeah. Go and grab the ball. Don't just tap it. Feel it. And also stopping the basketball. You know, when Indiana drives it, he, he wanted to, to commit to ha having their help defender stop the ball. Galloway off the wear screen. They couldn't it's bank it home. Shot. And Crowell with a good box out. Wisconsin now scratching their way back on this 8 0 run. For everything that Indiana has done well here in the first half, for the Badgers to have hung around, that's, that's what you want here on the road. Hepburn working on Galloway. Squeaks through. Klesman, seven to shoot. Oh, what a fake, but a little too strong on the floater. Two for one opportunity if they hurry. Where? Thought about it. Jab and drive. Where? Long strides. He's got it. The Ware tear continues. Those count. I mean, Khalil Ware, that's a heck of a move. Well, that was a missed opportunity there by John Blackwell. That, that clock is running. He picked the ball up at 34 or 33. Could have held it. This could have been the final possession for Wisconsin. It said it's a two second difference. Shot clock to game clock. Back to a seven point IU lead. Career high 20 points for a half for Khalil Ware. Hepburn with six. Tried to lob it inside. Crowell with a tough catch. Goes up. Oh, rejected. Walker recovered and Klesman floats it in to end the first half. Get to 15 and 13 on the year, improve to 11 and 5 in this building, and they'll have the basketball to start the second half. Ware, Cups, Galloway, Renew, who was quiet in the first half, and Ibako the five. They look to get it to him, and it is Hepburn. 439 starts between the five of them in college. 163 combined starts for this Indiana group. Spin to the baseline, and Baco for two. It's been more active at looking to use his size near the rim. Nice physical play there by Mackenzie and Baco and not just shooting jumpers anymore looking to get to the rim looking to post up and nice little take there by the freshman six points for Mbako to make it a seven point lead. Klesman had that last bucket in the final seconds of the first half eight to shoot now for Crowell. He's got the mismatch against Galloway and oh Khalil Ware met him at the summit. Klesman for three silences the crowd. What awareness, though, by Chucky Hepburn to, to secure that block, spray it to Klesman. Big shot for Wisconsin. Ware looks like Mr. Fantastic at points today. Just his arms are going forever. And Baco off the curl. It's a tough jumper, can't get the roll. How good was that by A.J. Storr? Locked right in there on Mbako's hip and got a great contest on that jumper. That's got to be where the frustrations are for Greg Gard because you see the potential for him as a defender every time down the floor. And certainly the, the shot selection comes as well. Here's a three ball and Storr can't hit. Hepburn, one of the peskiest defenders in the Big Ten, especially at his position. Renew span it, spun into a double team and oh, he squeezed it in anyway. Good to see him get it going here in the second half. Sat with a lot of those that first with two fouls. He has lived in foul trouble. That beat him on the floor. Dump off for a wall, and he just muscles through Renew, who tried not to pick up another foul. It's another guy who sat a lot of that first half. Loves that right hand, loves getting to the other side. Reverse layup. Galloway bounce it on the pocket, and Renew with a catch and finish. It's a renew rocker to get it back to a six-point cushion. 
Both teams coming out firing in this second half. Wall back inside. Renew straight up. Good defense. Nearly traveled. Got rid of it in time for Cups. Leaves it for Mbako. Only three minutes into the second half. Wisconsin shooting 43%. Indiana still at 62 for the night. Renew on the rip through. Went right through Wall, but he comes up short. I thought he got away with an offensive foul there. Looked like he really extended that forearm. Klesman, attack mode. Can't bank it home. Rebound squirts to Renew. Running with Ware. Galloway fins the lane. Back to Renew, and he's fouled. He's going to come in to spell him. Wall stays on the bench with the three fouls. Renew splits a pair. They're already with an emphatic rejection to start this second half, but they haven't gotten to him offensively yet. Let's see what Wisconsin does with him still on the floor. Drive and kick, Klesman, pump, drive, kick it again, extra, store, spin, and score. That's got to be the most difficult shot that he's taken there tonight. AJ Store, three of his last 20 from three, so you can see has lost a little bit of that confidence, but the talent on display on the dribble drive. And Baco from deep sticks a three ball. Threes starting to fall for Indiana. They're five for ten. Hepburn up and under. Corkscrews it through. He just physically manhandled Gabe Cups right there. Cups was given ground, and the veteran Chucky Hepburn getting all the way to the rim. And Robbie, we knew that was going to be an interesting matchup tonight. The freshman Cups really struggled with some of the pressure from Hepburn in the first matchup. This time he goes right at him. Stops on a dime and puts it in. Well, playing under control. You know, coming to a jump stop, letting Hepburn fly by. Of a response there under control by Gabe Cups. Crowell's been quiet himself. Gilmore thought about it. Store will take it and make it. Maybe that little bucket at the rim off the spin gets him going. And they need AJ Store to be a factor. 22 straight games in double figures, and that's a big one for his psyche. It's the longest streak since Ethan Happ had 42 a couple of years back, and now stores up to seven, starting to cook five minutes into the second half. And Baco right into Crowell. Lost it. It'll stay with Indiana. The level of turnover here in Bloomington has certainly hurt the program. Seven to shoot now for Galloway. Lob it up. Clear slams it down. Gilmore stays out there. Store off the screen. Has found his touch in the second half. Aggressive take to the rim. Oh, yes, just right through the chest there of Malik Renew. Knocks him back. And we have seen a more aggressive A.J. Store here in the second half. Nine for Store, 22 for Ware. Galloway got caught in between. Ware got a piece, and it's a second chance for Renew. Floats it up. Too strong. Pops off to Blackwell. Now he's running with a three on two. Leave it. Hepburn. Three ball. Cash. Well, maybe Chucky Hepburn is starting to find that jumper. Seven of his last 14 over the last three games. Great pass there from John Blackwell. Running the floor with the rock and spraying it to that right wing. Now Hepburn, the second badger into double figures. He's got 10, and this is a one possession game. Indiana led by as many as 15 in the first half. Galloway floats it through. He loves that little floater. And with the drop coverage, it's going to be there. Got to account for where he continues to fire on all cylinders. Blackwell. The crowd. Make the handoff. Ten to shoot. Blackwell working on Galloway. Muscles his way in. Can't get it to go. And Ware has his eighth board. Galloway really matched the physicality there of John Blackwell. Tried to knock him back. And Galloway just didn't give ground. Galloway, no. Wisconsin really looking for their defense to settle in. They're 14 and 0 and holding opponents to 70 or less. That includes a week ago against Maryland. Hepburn, not that time. Indiana fortunate. Dave Cups was really behind on that handoff. 
See if they can find where they were featuring him early in this game. Oh, Galloway's tripped up. And Winter will round it out. Inside, Ware on the duck, had it knocked away. Nice job, Carter Gilmore got his hand in the cookie jar. Now Blackwell on the drive, dump. Gilmore lost it momentarily, and a reset. But the wear effect is a real thing, because you can tell Wisconsin's offensive players are thinking about him whenever he's around. The siege in. oh, that's a deep one. Not that time. Ware looks like he's holding his left side a little bit. See what affects him on this offensive possession. Indiana's made six threes in their last two games combined. They've already made five tonight. Renew the kick. Johnson thought about it. On the drive. Johnson, bounce it. Ware, a travel. He is certainly one, one of the all-time greats. And I just want to, what, what number of players in the world of basketball have been granted permission to shoot 39 times a game? I mean, it, like, it does help when your dad's the coach. No, that, that certainly does. Klesman couldn't hit on the second chance. Wisconsin has now taken 11 more shots than Indiana in this game. Indiana leads by just four despite shooting the ball much more effectively. What's felt like Indiana that this lead should be 10, 12, and Wisconsin give them credit. They, they've just hung in here. Renew going right at wall, stripped by a Seijin. That's what we saw them work, or, work on and shoot around. They were active digging out of the post. Klesman exploded, had 20 straight points at one point in the first matchup of these two teams. Blackwell, aggressive, nice spin through. Kenzie Mbako has just got to give more resistance than that. It's a turn down ball screen, and Blackwell just gripping and living on that baseline. Indiana's turnover starting to pile up a little bit. Three turnovers in the last three minutes. Lob it up. Johnson, a little miscommunication with Renew. Another turnover. Now Wisconsin, a chance to tie or take the lead here. Klesman bumped. Kick. Blackwell drives on Mbako and gets the roll. John Blackwell, too tough. Boy, he's letting Mackenzie Mbako know about it right now. Those are two physical drives, and what a play by the freshman John Blackwell. Wisconsin is yet to lead in this game. Defense has been turned up. Galloway, no. Ware couldn't handle it. Renew does. Surrounded by red jerseys, and a foul is called. It'll be a siege. In. And we've got some commotion here at Assembly Hall. It looks like the fans are being told to head towards the exits here. And we're waiting for word on official what's happening. Both teams have been sent towards their bench. We are expecting some inclement weather in the area tonight. The officials conferring with the scores table and what has turned into a fantastic game here in Bloomington. So we're waiting. Now both teams being sent towards their locker room. And we're hearing some kind of an alarm at Assembly Hall. safe and sound from what we've heard there was a fire alarm in the building they've cleared the building they evacuated everybody and now we're ready to go we're ready to play they gave the players five minutes to warm up and now you've got to refocus because we've got a tie ball game with 10.06 to play well, the, I don't know if I've seen this in a game period the only thing close was the Zion Williamson summer league game where an earthquake yeah. had the scoreboard yes. but they didn't shape playing they didn't. They stopped. Sent everybody home. Different implications in that one than we had here tonight. And we're back to action with 10 minutes to play in a tie ball game. Galloway, hook it. Johnson thought about it. Seven to shoot on Hepburn. Drives. Can't finish, but a foul. And, and make something happen out of the backcourt. Well, Indiana, five of eight from the free throw line. Leal will check in for Mbako. So it's Leal, Galloway, Johnson, Renew, and Ware against Hepburn, Blackwell, Klesman, Corral, and Wall. And now Wisconsin, after two missed free throws from Johnson, can take its first lead of the night. After an unexpected delay, they've come back from 15 down, looking to pull in front here. Wall, the back down on Renew. 
Wall muscling his way in. Can't find space until he does. Tyler Wall puts Wisconsin in front. And you've got Khalil Ware right there, but Tyler Wall just found a little avenue to sneak that thing up, put a ton of English on it, and gets it to go. Seven points for Wall. Indiana looking for the response. Ware was unstoppable in the first half. How does a delay like that impact somebody who's been in rhythm? Now Johnson can't hit the three. Renew sucks it in and puts it through. Boy, Renew had great position down there. The shot goes up. It's got to be a battle for both teams to go secure that rebound. Malik Renew winning that one right there. Right back to Wall. And Renew is going to pick it up. We're back to action. And now we're getting close to winning time. Klesman attacks on Galloway. Stops, feeds. Hepburn with 12. Steps back for the three. Yes, sir! There you got it. Xavier Johnson choosing to go under on that screen. And Chucky Hepburn, who shot it so much better over the last couple games, just steps right back and makes one of the bigger three-pointers of the ball game. Hepburn has hit some big shots, as mentioned. Continues to produce, as does Renew. Coming alive in this second half to bring his team back within one. That's the weight room right there. I mean, Tyler Wall, a very capable defender, very versatile defender, and Renew just went right at him. 12.6 rebounds for Renew to go with a 22 and 10 game from Khalil Ware. Looking for Crowell inside. Good position on Galloway, and he banks it home. But that's Chucky Hepburn just recognizing that even though I've got a matchup with Khalil Ware on the perimeter, Crowell has Galloway down there on the block. Wise decision, throws it in there, has some patience. That was well done by Chucky Hepburn. Xavier Johnson stays on the floor here late Look in the second that. half, and a turnover. It's Hepburn. There's that stingy defense again for the point guard, taking it coast to coast. Probes through, Crowell doesn't take it. Klesman splits a double. Hepburn on the reload. Bouncing, Wall on Renew, eight to shoot. Back down, Wall looking to make it happen himself. A lot of physicality, Wall missed everything. A shot clock reset though. Oh, and then Doug Sermons is gonna call it a shot clock violation and it did not graze the rim. Defensive plays forcing some turnovers. Indiana had just four turnovers the entire first half. They already have five in the first 13 minutes of the second half. I like that Hepburn has looked more for his own offense here over the last. Three. Oh, lob it up. Where can't finish, but he's fouled. Very challenging guard for Stephen Crowell. Eye popping for the big man. And showing off why he's a touted prospect. Brings it to a one-point game. Crowd on its feet. Hepper, the cross, the sauce, the kick. Slow it down again with 10 to shoot. Hepper on the attack. Double comes. Leave it. Cutter. Wall nearly traveled. And Wall behind his head. That was a quality contest there from both Renew and Ware. Made it tough. It was a nice cut by Tyler Wall, but not an easy look down there. The Twin Towers contesting. Galloway, oh, and it's perfectly read by Wall. Six minutes to play from Bloomington. Wisconsin trying to win their first road game in five tries in the Big Ten. Indiana trying to put Hepburn. an end to a four-game losing streak, and Hepburn is just forcing the issue. He's got some blood in the water there with Anthony Leal. He is going right at him, and Wisconsin wise to just clear out that entire side and let Hepburn go to work. 15 points now for the point guard. A.J. Storr will check in next dead ball. Galloway, flip it, Mbako, three ball, bullseye! <laughs> Crowell, working on where? Klesman, right back to the big man. Hepburn, gonna do it himself. Three to shoot. 
Step back what three. Might have got a piece. Crowell, did he get it off? And we're all even at 63. Indiana led by as many as 15. Wisconsin led by as many as three. And Hepburn, man, he is disruptive. Knocked it away from Renew. Picked up by Storr. And then he traveled. Yeah. No, it's going to be a jump ball. And it'll be Wisconsin basketball. Two, yeah, three, three, four. I mean, that's, that's great. Hepburn trying to take advantage. Probes through. Storr sitting on nine points. Oh, look at that drive. And no foul comes. Then he gets it right back. And this time, it's a foul on the floor. <laughs> it's definitely been a strange night. Store for three. Well short. Long rebound to Hepburn. He's making every play. Back down on Galloway. Squirts through. Kick it. Three ball. Short from Klesmit. And the rebound. Ware has his 11th of the night. Klesmit got a good look at it. He relocated top of the key. And Anthony Leo got caught watching Chucky Hepburn. Galloway bounce it. Oh, what a finish! Anthony Walker, bully in the sandbox. Indiana back in front. Klesmit looking for it right back. Trapped, leaves it. Store. Wall likes the matchup with Walker. Now it's Store going to attack mode. Stops. Pops, he sticks it. I mean, those count right there. Anthony Walker switches off, and he's got a pretty good spot there on the contest. It's better offense from AJ Store. Galloway, lob it towards the rim. Where? Oh, how did he do it? Locked in, and he stays out of foul trouble. He stays on the floor. He's got a ton of ability. Shoots at just 64% of the stripe on the year. Gives his team a three-point lead with three minutes remaining. Store step back three. Oh yeah! And that looked like a broken play. Klesman looked like he was trying to back screen for Store. Store just popped back, went one on one, and makes a heck of a play. Momentarily silences the crowd. Mbako the answer. No. He got a good look, and it was because of the role of where Store had to tag, and that left Mackenzie Mbako with an open look from three. Mike Woodson's been imploring his team to play a full 40 minutes. Hasn't seen it enough this season. And he said the inexperience is the main reason. Going up against one of the most experienced teams in both the Big Ten and the country. Hepburn has been in these moments so many times. Inside for Wall, the hook goes down. What a duck in there on Anthony Walker by Tyler Wall to get that position. And then when he gets to his left shoulder and a clean look with his right hand, it's pretty much game over. Wisconsin pushes back in front. Renew set to check in, next dead ball. Galloway finds his space and responds. Galloway has been so good in that middle pick and roll, just taking what the defense has given. When Ware's been open, he's fed him. When it's been his time to get to his floater, he's done that too. Crowd on its feet. 90 seconds, just about 93 seconds with a Wisconsin timeout. Anthony Walker back on the floor, as opposed to Mbako. Storm attacking on Renew with four fouls. Hepper now with 10. Hepburn on Galloway, the cross, the kick, Wall, the pump. Leave your feet there. Hepburn to Wall, just got it off, but can't get it to go. What a contest, though, by Khalil Ware. Anthony Walker makes a mistake. He goes for that Tyler Wall head fake, but Khalil Ware, his size, his shot-blocking ability. 107 to play, tie ball game. Galloway looking inside for Renew, can't find him initially. Got him on the repost. Renew. Wall can't move him. Renew forced it in. And a foul. Oh, that, that's his fifth foul. Renew has hit the quota. The team's leading scorer. Klesman on the other end, working on Leo. Klesman likes the matchup. Ran into a double, nearly traveled. 
store a three. No. Long rebound. Wall looked for it, but it's going the other way. Oh, Trey Galloway, what an effort play right there to keep Tyler Wall from securing that offensive rebound. It has not been pretty. So we'll see what they go with here. Cups is back on the floor. Leo will inbound. Galloway, Ware, and Mbako round out the five. The problem is I don't think either of these guys are good options. I'd, I'd fall Galloway. Galloway has really struggled at the line of late. They get it over to Leal. Leal is going to be trapped right away here. He just gets rid of it. Mbako, and he's fouled. They will call it on the floor. We'll see if they clean that up at some point. But a one and one for Mbako, an 80% shooter. Walker in, cups out, offense, defense for Mike Woodson. Wisconsin has struggled from three, eight of 23. Big ones from the freshman, two possession game. Store over the wall, and he's fouled. Indiana's got many fouls to give here, just the fourth team foul. With 21 point in on the clock, it goes against Walker. So we'll see how Mike Woodson elects to play it with all those fouls to give. Wall goes right to the rim, goes right into where. How fitting that he would get the stop. Did they get the timeout? No, it was out of bounds. Leal tried to call for that time. Mike Woodson is incensed on the sideline and his Wisconsin basketball. Remember, this is one of the rule changes that we have seen over the course of this year where you can now leave your feet and, and call timeout and it can be granted. So unless he was calling it as he was stepping out of bounds, you could see him motioning with his hands for the time. Get it in Crow. Right back to Hepburn. Can't hit the three. Store the rebound. Go on the other way. Loose ball fell on Store. Free throws for IU. Well, Hepburn got a pretty good look, and Store comes in there. Get a little shove in the back. This was the timeout not granted, so Walt misses here. Let's see, was Leal on the baseline? And he missed the free throw. We'll take another look in a minute. Still a four-point game. Klesman looking for three. No. Hepper the rebound. Retreats. Is he going to get it off? He does, but it's well too late. And Indiana survives. A fire alarm. And a four-game losing streak is over.